The Virtual Showcase is a multi-user, projection-based, augmented reality display that is based on the optical see-through concept. Our latest experimental prototype applies a controllable digital light projector instead of a simple light bulb to illuminate the showcase's content on a pixel-precise basis. Hello, I'm Professor Lawrence Whitmer, and this is Deinonychus. Deinonychus lived in what is now North America about 135 million years ago. Reaching a maximum length of about 10 feet and weighing in at maybe 200 pounds, Deinonychus was well armed with powerful jaws, long arms, and the slashing toe claw which gave it its name, which means terrible claw. Now we'll show you the muscles that controlled the jaws of Deinonychus. These are the depressor mandibuli, which open the jaws. The pterygoideus muscles, which close the jaw with a quick snap. The quadrate muscles. And temporal muscles, which work with the pterygoideus in producing a powerful crushing bite. One of the great challenges in paleontology is determining what the anatomy of these creatures was really like based on the fragments preserved in the fossil record. Recreating soft tissues, which of course have not been preserved, as well as their interaction is particularly demanding. Here, augmented reality is used to demonstrate one possibility. Deinonychus had no cheek muscles to assist in moving food around in the mouth, so it fed by ripping flesh off his prey and then throwing his head up or forward, allowing gravity to carry chunks of food to his throat. What makes this project exciting for us is that we have the possibility of trying things on for size. Packing issues, how soft tissue structures share the limited space within the skull, are central to what we do. Augmented reality holds the prospect of allowing us to visualize reconstructed soft tissues and then see how they perform in accomplishing biological tasks. 